We therefore believe that calls for, the only, for only a criminal investigation of the evaluation committee for the Tepui contract or the revocation of the contract fail to recognize the magnitude of the mismanagement, corruption, and political interference in the contract award system under the- They have a lot of mouth, right? But this is not about them. Some of them are dance promoters, right? All right. We in the opposition firmly believe that the Tipui contract, contract scandal is only the tip of a large iceberg. Indeed, NPTAB was barefaced enough to inform the Public Procurement Commission that it awarded similar pump station contracts to others who also did not have the experience and forget about the jump in the hills of Potana thing and was it uh, Facebook Live and <laughs> don't tag them. Tag those other set of people. Let them see what the corrupt PPP regime, the racist PPP regime is doing to persons of African descent. Let us recall that the award of government contracts was a Hurdmanson issue, meaning that in the aftermath of the 1997 elections and public protests, the award of contracts was explicitly identified by all stakeholders as a matter of central importance for race relations, social justice, and equal opportunity in Guyana. One, a full and thorough investigation of NPTA and the public procurement system. Two, the enactment of legislation to give the public procurement clear-cut powers to revoke contracts and impose penalties whenever breaches, non-compliance, and fraud are this. If this project is not related to the Qatari Hotel, <laughs> is it incidental? Just a few weeks after that contract was signed, we see the vendors here being moved. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Findings of the Public Procurement Commission, PPC, on the Tipui contract for the construction of the Bell Bellevue pump, pump station have outraged Guyanese across the political spectrum. We in the opposition firmly believe that the Tipui contract, contract scandal is only the tip of a large iceberg. Indeed, NPTAB was barefaced enough to inform the Public Procurement Commission that it awarded similar pump station contracts to others who also did not have the experience and prerequisites. We are convinced that breaches of the procurement laws and the award of contracts to the friends, families, and favorites of the People's Progressive Party government occur regularly and are in the tens of billions of dollars. We therefore believe that calls for, the only, for only a criminal investigation of the evaluation committee for the Tepui contract or the revocation of the contract fail to recognize the magnitude of the mismanagement, corruption, and political interference in the contract award system under the PPP. Nothing short of radical overhaul and total cleansing is needed. Guyanese must, must note that the government's entire capital budget is processed through the public procurement system. We are dealing with hundreds of billions of dollars annually. In 2023, the capital budget was $388 billion. In 2024, it is a galloping $666 billion, approximately 58% of the entire national budget. Let us recall that the award of government contracts was a Hurdmanson issue meaning that in the aftermath of the 1997 elections and public protests, the award of contracts was explicitly identified 
by all stakeholders as a matter of central importance for race relations, social justice, and equal opportunity in Guyana. In 1999, in the 1999 constitutional reform agreed, sorry, the 1999 constitutional reform agreed, therefore, to establish the Public Procurement Commission as a body with constitutional powers to address this national problem. But the PPP, during its previous term in office, thwarted both the establishment and the functioning of the Public Procurement Commission. In fact, it was under the coalition government in 2016 that the Public Procurement Commission was re-established after an absence of a decade under the People's Progressive Party. Given the PPP's track record, it is no wonder that the government's only response on the Tipui contract scandal was to say to its Minister for Finance that it wishes, and I quote, to assure the Guyanese public that this PPPC government, led by His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali, remains firmly and unwaveringly committed to good governance and accountability, including through the maintenance and preservation of public bodies that can withstand scrutiny, end of quote. Sheer platitude, sheer hypocrisy. The government evidently regards Guyanese as either blind or fools. Because the Tipui contract award and, and the other such dubious awards are merely the tip of the iceberg, we in the opposition calls for, one, a full and thorough investigation of NPTA and the public procurement system, two, the enactment of legislation to give the public procurement clear-cut powers to revoke contracts and impose penalties whenever breaches, non-compliance, and fraud are discovered. Excuse me. Three, the urgent drafting and enforcement of regulations by the Public Procurement Commission using its powers under the current Procurement Act. Four, the termination of the Tipui contract in keeping with the position of former Public Procurement Commission Chair, Carol Corbin's remarks. She said that a commission should recommend, and I quote, and stress for emphasis, recommend to the procuring entity that they terminate this contract. Though, as we said, this will not solve the core problems. Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. Allegedly, we could see what's going on here, you know. But this is going to cause a big problem in GT because people are not going to let this one slide and they're not going to let this one go because of the popularity of one of the main persons that's involved in the company that's being in the biggest scandal. One of the biggest scandals so far of this year. They're not gonna let it go. They're gonna keep bringing it up and bringing it up because guess what? Critic is always on the other side when it comes down to a battle with the opposition. So the members of the opposition and the chairman is saying, listen, the information that we got from the committee that went and do the investigation is saying X, Y, and Z. And this is going to cause a big problem in GT because it's something that Parsons has been talking about for years. One set of people making the money, one set of people getting the contract, and when Parsons highly melanated people how we not going to colorize nobody and we not going to need grow or need grow nobody now guess what we could check out the entomology of the word if you go to entomology.com or download the entomology app and everybody got a smartphone so we're going to make sure that our vernacular is in point we've been misnomered in history and we've it's been done deliberately for persons to disenfranchise us because to be honest with you the word that we should be addressed as is aboriginal to that land native to the land of guyana but that's a whole different video and it would take us down a rabbit hole that i don't think a lot of persons right now might be really 
right now might be ready to investigate. This is a basic thing was going on a lot. A lot of we done, we, we know we experienced this situation before. Is you got a partner and you look out for you if you got a situation that you know you could help you out in a particular way, allegedly, then you might do it. But if your partner can't do the work, allegedly, and if your partner's getting in conflict with people upon the other side that is gonna now skin up any little thing that's going wrong, that's when the problem does start come to you now. And you might go end up saying, hey, buddy, we might go do something different with the contract there, you know, but I can get something else on the side. Allegedly, no. Mr. Bench Cop is exposing more corruption when it comes down to the vendors having to move and stop being able to have that source of income that they was getting from that area that was just recently allegedly acquired by acquired by the new hotel chain that's going to be coming into guyana qatari right they just acquired it so now the persons that are on the outskirts because you can't really be vending on the outskirts of a hotel if you think about it most persons if you think about international hotels and stuff like that they just got a certain area without the building that they just got control of that you know they can now apply whatever it is that they might want to bring attraction to the or to beautify the area and then now have that be a part of their um you know establishment so now you see the same thing going on in gt where now the vendors are being asked to move so that's why guyanese got to be very invested open the minds the understanding how the countries work we can get deep into the understanding of what maritime law is and what's going on in gt right now when it comes down to maritime law we're going to understand what the persona is and we're going to dissect we're going to get into the deep decoding of what the straw man is right here on this channel stay tuned but for right now we can get into what mark bench cup is talking about can you exposing some people if you haven't already hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe so that you get a return ticket god this flight take off every single day one love they have a lot of mouth right but this is not about them some of them are dance promoters right all right well, okay that's all i wish to say at this time but hear what the reason why you gotta tag some of these guys, especially those who uh, disrespected the Guyanese community in Brooklyn, tag them. Let them see this here. Tag my friend Doris Rodney of the Hills. Let her see this, what's happening. Tag my pastor friend, James Richmond. Tag Barker. Tag them. Tag Claire and all of them. Tag them now, please. Forget about the jump in the hills of put on a thing and was it uh facebook live and <laughs> don't tag them tag those other set of people let them see what the corrupt ppp regime the racist ppp regime is doing to persons of african descent right now it's happening let's go over and join shara duncan so if the civil sea defense board was so vigilant how come we're seeing what we're seeing here. If this project is not related to the Qatari Hotel, <laughs> is it incidental? Just a few weeks after that contract was signed, we see the vendors here being moved. Number of men out here, no doubt carrying on this work. And Stalls are being dismantled. That's what's happening here. Now, we are not trying to get in the way of that because you ain't going to turn this around and say, it, as they're trying to say, up new AFC and all that nonsense. Because once you want to bring, once you want to bring truth and light, 
to the darkness that is enveloping this country, use opposition. That's what we're hearing. Now, I'm going to take a, see how far down I can walk. To just give you a sense of what's going to happen here. A number of structures are going to be moved. This direction here, they have a lot of those businesses. I'm going to take a little walk up further from where we are. And so this is a live coverage there, compliments of uh, Sheriff Duncan. This is what's happening right now in Guyana. They're breaking down all of those um, uh, business places at the seawall um, from Camp Street to the Sinjin Road. You know, and then when we speak out, you hear that we are bad people. Don't worry, those. It's not like it's like throwing water and ducks back. And then they get some little minions who don't understand what is being happening or what is happening to them. Sorry. And then they they are paid either a box of fried rice, potato chips, or whatever to curse us out. We become for those little minions. We become the bad ones, and so they can jump in at the hills and put on their life and curse us. It doesn't really matter. It's like, uh, yeah. Oh, money gone, man. One hundred percent wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Buying shares in Dubai, a company in Dubai, to work on a joint venture with another company to come here to buy the GPL. I am not one of those persons. I am not one of those persons. So they're running down GPL to the point where, this, where the people of this country will get 